This morning, Fort Worth residents are cleaning up and still trying to process the shock of Monday's massive explosion downtown. And helping with the healing is that we finally have some answers to some of the crucial questions. Our Kennedy Walker is live from the scene with what we've learned. Hey, good morning, Madison and Keith. Yes, right now I am live in downtown Fort Worth, standing just feet away from the Sandman Hotel where that explosion happened. I'm going to step out of the way so that you can see the scene right now. Uh, multiple uh, crew members are here. Pickup has begun once again. Now, things look very different than they did yesterday. Yesterday, tons of debris still on the ground. It was definitely more of an effort. Today, they're still cleaning up, but it's not as bad, not as much debris on the ground. But this morning, police are allowing guests to pick up their belongings that they left behind after that explosion rocked downtown. They can get it from the zipper building, which is located about five minutes from where we are right now, five minutes away from the hotel. Today, we can expect the investigation to continue. You're looking right now on your screens at powerful images from the Fort Worth Fire Department showing the emergency response in the moments after that explosion. The Fort Worth Fire Chief Jim Davis says investigators are working to figure out whether whether a gas leak caused the explosion or the explosion caused the gas problem. Either way, Fort Worth Fire says they do not believe that this was intentional. Structural engineers with the city and from the state's FEMA task force say the building is not at risk of imminent collapse, so crews can continue to work inside safely. As for those victims, police confirming all 21 people hurt were adults. One woman was taken to Parkland's burn unit where she is in critical condition with major burns. Now, this explosion also affecting many businesses nearby. This is a very busy and populated area. We caught up with one business owner who described that frightening moment and says he's thankful things weren't much worse. Within spinning distance of the, of the shop, it's, it's, um, it's unnerving, to say the least. It does cause you to, to maybe choke up a little and, um, and, and rethink things, but, um, but it won't be long. Before it's full speed ahead again. Now, again, people are able to pick up their belongings from the zipper building located about five minutes away from where I'm standing right now on West 7th and Houston Street. We did go by there about 30 minutes or so just to see if anyone had stopped by. No one had stopped by as of yet. There were some people that came last night. But again, police are encouraging anyone that was staying at the Sandman Hotel, if you have any of your belongings that you left behind, to pick it up as soon as you can. Reporting in Fort Worth, Kennedy Walker, CBS News, Texas. Thank you, Kennedy. An explosion that definitely affected so many people and so many things in so many different ways. And here's proof. The explosion destroyed the hotel's ground floors and surrounding businesses have been impacted as well. Damaged by debris, forced to temporarily close down, not to mention a lack of foot traffic with roads and sidewalks still blocked off. Uh, through it all, some people are still stepping up to help. Bonnell's uh, Restaurant Group is keeping their nearby location open late and offering free meals to all first responders, many of whom say they were rescuing survivors and clearing heavy debris for upwards of 20 hours in yesterday's bitter cold weather. Wherever we can find that anybody needs something, uh, we're willing to deliver food. And so far, so many restaurants have done the same thing. So it's really uh, it's nice to see that the community is really help them take care of its own. Officials tell us it could be at least a week before the immediate area around the blast can be repaired and reopened. And because of those repairs, there is concern about how all of this will impact the big stock show and rodeo Western Heritage Parade this weekend, and then also the MLK Parade that was supposed to also happen in downtown Fort Worth on Monday. We're told city leaders and event organizers are going to be meeting sometime today to be able to discuss potential changes to those original parade routes and even the status of those parades ongoing.